Greetings friends, welcome to a crystal ASMR with a difference. Here is the fairy stone, a green calcite chunk that so called out for fairy that I ended up locking the fairy energy into it. It is a very powerful stone with a very good healing quality because then Archangel Raphael also wanted his energy put into the fairy stone. So I thought today we would just look at the fairy stone and enjoy the healing energy that emanates from it and listen to some inspirational fairy messages with the Koji chimes. So first of all I would like you to ground and protect yourself in the usual way. If you do not know how to do this, I will talk you through it. First of all, imagine roots growing out of your feet. Feel them move down into the earth below you. They grow down and down and down into the green calcite pools of inner earth where they drink up that crystalline energy. And they move the energy back up through your root system into your legs and up your chakra line into your base, your sacral, your solar, your heart, your throat, your third eye and your crown. Spilling out of the top of your head and flowing down all around you to be drunk and dragged up through the holes in your feet again and up your chakra line and out of the top of your head. This green calcite cleanses and clears you and Archangel Raphael wraps his wings around you to shield and protect you, especially if you have a time of change and to help you reclaim back your personal power. Feel the life force move through you as you connect in spirit to the Archangel Raphael. Rest your mind and disengage from the voices chattering inside you. Their negativity is not authentic and you know the truth that the universe is abundant and that you are safe, protected and loved. Feel the healing properties emanate from this amazing stone and know that life energy of fairy sunshine 
brings lots of life-giving energy to you. The fairies wish to remind you to shine your light and to reveal anything in the shadows that needs to be healed and shifted and let Archangel Raphael help with this transformation now. He tells you to surrender to the transformation that is happening in your life now because it is for the highest good even if it does not feel like it at the moment the best is yet to come during these colder months of winter let the fairy queen help you manifest your heartfelt wishes as long as your tensions are for the good and the highest form of all. But that you also need to step into your power and help create this foundation bed. Nothing comes to those who sit back. Start to prepare now and create your foundation for your new life. And if you need to ask for help, the angels and celestial beings who protect everyone and the fairies who help things along by shifting little will-o'-wisps of energy tell you to ask for help from them. But to also seek out people who can help you Come together with people of like-minded nature. Many hands make light work and working in a team will help you get the job done. Go outside and start fairy spotting. Seeing is believing. But the fact is the opposite can be true. Believing is seeing. Take a walk to your local park or beauty spot and ask one of the tree dryads for wisdom to help you navigate through a current situation. A flute can reveal the insights and answers. And listen. Listen in a different way. The rustle of the wind through the branches. A humming of a distant tree. Even the beating or the chirruping of a local bird. Look for these wonders and know that it is good to be alive. Find balance between your work, rest and playtime and then you will have more energy, harmony and productivity in your life. And if you need to, take power naps and ask for your dreams to be filled with inspiration And when you are going through times that are tough, know that you are being assisted 
by magical fairy blessings and beings and the angels will shine their light down and help you gather the strength that you need to shine from within and remember looks are only skin deep true beauty is within you within your soul your heart and it is time for you to accept everything even the bits that you don't like to reveal your true beauty Your intention and manifestation will help you use your wishes wisely. Ask that you manifest your heart's desire with the pure intention and highest good for all. Seek friends who will support you and encourage you on your journey to fulfill your dreams. If somebody makes you more unhappy than happy, then it is time to let them go. Wish them well, but surround yourself with beings and people who accept you, who encourage you, who don't belittle you. And celebrate with them, let your hair down. Have a rest and go out and dance and play. You'll be glad you did. music be the food of love and can lift your heart and soul and rekindle memories and charm the fairies to your door maybe it is time to get that flute out and practice tootling to the tree dryads and purity will follow your intent look inside your heart and within it you will find the answer and gain inspiration come dusk or dawn Start working on ideas for your future journey, your plans. It is time to prepare. And if things come your way that may be impromptu, jump at them. Get your passport now. Go, go on that holiday or go for that day out because you'll be very glad you did and light will come to you and may give you help in a current situation. And know that when the darkness comes, you can surrender to the natural ebb and flow of the moon who will help you and if you are confused the moon and the fairy energies and indeed the angels can calm your emotions and reassure you that peace of mind is possible Look for nature's signs, be receptive to the subtle messages that you see in nature as you go about your day. 
even that little weed on the sidewalk finds a way to grow and gives you oxygen as it breathes in your CO2. Every plant wishes to help and flourish and with a little help from you can bring beneficial beauty or healing into your life. If you have that headache, walk around your local park or beauty spot. And being alone does not mean that you are totally alone. Sometimes we need it to think things through and wait silently to gain the wisdom throughout the noise. Maybe divination will help you. Embrace your powers, which are especially strong right now. And ask the fairies and angels to give you ability to see through a current situation with crystal clear clarity and prepare yourself for incoming abundance. Release, release, release any mental blocks you may have. In fairy land and human land, there is enough abundance for everyone. Maybe looking in a book will answer a question for you or listening to the words of a song. Answers and signposts are everywhere and there is always hope even if we can't see it and an optimistic expectation will help you weather the storm. Bring out your inner child to play with the fairies in your inner world, in your mind's eye, create a garden. And playing keeps you young at heart. Even doing something silly and fun, as long as you stay safe. may even give you motivation to spring into action. If there's something you've been thinking about, do it. Motivate yourself. Wish wisely with harm to none and take practical steps to achieve your goals and believe in magic. Open your eyes and see the magic that's all around you in nature. And remember, you are protected. The fairies of protection shield you with love and light and the angels stand around. Practice your psychic protection so that you can explore the hidden depths. And if something surfaces, a memory or a secret, take it out of you and give it to Raphael to take away. Recognize it and let go of it because now is the time for you. It is the time for you to reach your full potential and let go of those upsets. 
You are about to step across a magical gateway into the unknown, but keeping a positive attitude will help you and attract like-minded souls and beings and situations of positivity and abundance to you. Be very honest and clear about what you wish for your life. Write it down on paper and place it under a stone. A wishing stone for new beginnings. And when the stars rise at night, gaze out at them and give yourself a fairy focus. Your intuition will flow more freely and reveal what you need to know. Sitting outside and tuning in wherever you can, even on the top of your tower block. All of this time is precious. Make time for you to realize these things. Be mindful not to waste other people's time either. And everything in moderation. Do not give yourself over to dreaming because you need to put into action what you wish to manifest. Try to eat mindfully and healthily because your body is your temple. And most of all, protect your dreams. You are the guardian of your precious dreams and they are safe in your care. Keep them close to your heart until you are ready to release them. And know that Archangel Raphael is always on hand to help to heal you. Your guardian angels will guard you and guide you. But you need to ask them for all these things because they are not allowed to interfere unless we wish it. And remember, clap your hands if you believe. Because believing in things we can't see helps us be open-minded in a world full of possibilities. So dear friends, manifest your own fairy stone and bring the energy of the fairies and the angels into your life. And after every spiritual practice, we thank the beings for helping us. And we ask them to step back so that we can carry on with our day knowing that love, light shines from us and we try to outweigh the heavy moods with the happy moods. Dream on, dear friends, dream on.